Okay, so we're right here inside the view and um, let's check on some alpha planes what we can do. So you notice if you're going on your left navigation bar, you have it uh, arrow, you can click and if you have it, any other objects, we need to go and select alpha planes. So right here we have it, our options where we can load it, um, pictures this, and it's also support animation and other ones. So I'm going to select and load our picture that we created in previous tutorials in Photoshop. Okay, and I save it as PNG, so it's already have a transparency, we go open. And you notice right here, nice things about PNG, it's already preloaded all transparency and showing me preview for ours. One thing I want to be sure, I want to enable billboard because this is plain, I want to use it just for the trees and I want them always face towards camera. So let's enable billboard and click OK. So right in preview, you can see we have it now our trees. Let's go ahead and increase slightly in size and I want to move this a little bit on the back. And we can also go and it's kind of hard to see right there, but we can go and bring this little bit down just slightly below so that our plants may be kind of seating. Um, I wish there was a little bit better to see this alpha plane, but sometimes it, it's hard. So you need to watch for this. Okay, I'm bringing a little bit closer. Um, one thing is interesting to kind of know that by our eye or when we can see it's about on a stereoscopic about 10 meters is where we can distinguish if it is um, solid objects or three dimensional or flat. So after this about every object get flat to us. However, because we're rendering in 2D mode, the object will still be flat. All what we care about, the plant is always faced towards us that we fix it by enable this billboard option. And uh, so in this case, we can actually render. But let's go ahead and render. I see one problem, and you'll see this in a second, but we can go ahead and render, and I'll show you how to fix that problem as well. Okay, and I'm just rendering as the on a screen. So we can preview. Okay, so right here. And you can see we have a very nice tree. Notice how very fast it was rendering. So it took almost no time to render. If we do same with the plants, it will take significantly long time to render. Again, they will be look interesting. We we'll bring closer. You can see some different. But if you need just take and create this forest on a background, you will have it much nice looking. Uh, one thing what I said before. Notice right here we have a couple problems going on. One, notice on the shadows. And this is a little bit artifact because where's the sun located and even it's a billboard, it's facing towards us, the shadows are originating and it's wrong shadows. So we need to fix this as well as a lighting on our trees. So let's fix those two problems. The one will go inside the alpha plane, will open. Okay. And right in, in here, we can fix it some of those issues. So let's go ahead, select, we have our adjustment. We can enable color blend if we need blend with the background, but I want lighting them up. So we could do a color correction and bring them a little bit more up, but I found out much easier than that to do is just go and create another light source. Okay, we'll just put it one above. You can see this light source lighting everything and kind of making shadows going. Uh, except I don't want necessarily affecting all ground. So in this case, we'll just go to edit influence. Okay. And we'll just select only magic below, um, object below, and we'll select alpha planes. So in this case, the light, you know, it's only affecting our plants. Um, also let's do this way. Let's go inside camera and disable this natural and after exposure, because I want just affecting one thing. Okay, now if I want to reduce some lighting on these plants, I can just go ahead and take down overall lighting, but you can see how they brighten them up. Okay. Also, next things we need to go and remove some shadow that costing our plants because we need to fix them. 
Okay, so to do this, let's go to alpha plane. Notice shadows going one way. We'll go right click. And what I want to do, I want to actually bake this. So we'll go to uh, bake to polygons, select OK. And now if you notice, our shadows will properly affecting because we actually kind of almost flatten and applied. So this is going from directions of the sun. So again, um, I use a light tool lighting up if I need it and we'll just bake it and it will create a properly shadows. So before you can see shadows wrong way and now they're going correct way. Um, plus and minus on this one. One we actually just have a flat object. Okay. And notice what's happening. If I rotate so it's, it does not work as a billboard. So I need control otherwise if I have an alpha plane. I don't need worried about this prop um, the position as a billboard. However, um, if you're doing the other ways, you will have a little bit problem with the shadows. Okay, all right now let's go ahead. We'll take this one. I'm placing around there. Hold down Alt or Option key. And we can just go and drag, and just create this kind of forest. Okay. And I'm just only moving them back and forth. So they just leave it help me with the scale. Yeah, let's go right there. I also go and edit influence for this. And we can go and select all of them. Okay, right there. Let's group. And let's go ahead. Name it's forest. Okay. At this point, we can take lights, we can bring closer, just influence only specifically, or go put it up front. Okay, with like almost one spot. I'll just bring probably a little bit above. Um, let's also, you know, till we're doing this, let's go ahead and add some maybe more details to this. Uh, bring a little bit closer. Maybe like up. We'll go take our ground and ground a little bit brighter. Let's switch this to the brown color. Darker brown almost like black okay we'll go to atmosphere or you know what let me look on the sun we can create a little bit more creative with the sun we can take a sun and bring against the tree and then we'll lose some beauty of the trees. It's what I want to display. So we can bring them closer this way, a little bit up. Look nice. Atmosphere editor. Let's go inside here. And I'll just switch this to photometric. Okay, we'll go global rendersity. Let's go sky fog. And for this kind of creepy forest I want to increase haze bring this and pop up maybe to even about 50 so we'll have it quite a bit far for 50 maybe too much let's go to 25 just a little bit better Kind of add this foggy mystery creepy look okay our clouds we can just select and create one simple cloud on the back and you know what for this one let's take a density down to like about two percent opacity hundred percent details just add a little bit on the back and they still look leave it too bright so I'm going to open and change slightly color on this so lighting effect will go to sky ambient and let's go this one bring 
grayish and the same just colder grayish color let's go okay so our colors on cl atmosphere bring some little little bit down let me see how it's come up I'm just looking a little bit more for effect and see if we can bring kind of creepiness. Still look a little bit warm. Um, it's kind of nice warm color, but maybe a little bit too much in this case. So we'll go to um, Let's go right here and adjust. Bring this down. Create a little bit more colder look for our atmosphere. And bring more look at this area. Okay, and I'll go set at least 0% on a quality boost so it will be less grainy. I think that look good so let's go ahead and render and preview our result okay so right here it's finished render let's click ok and you can see we have actually quite a bit high details on the plants um, plus and minuses of using alpha planes as your backdrops for the forest or other maybe even for the crowd for the people whatever you want to do it is um, they do not animate it by wind inside the uh, view, so they will be not animated. But at the same time, it give it plus. So it's meaning if you have it, a big forest that is created on a background, when you don't really care or you cannot see that much motion there and leaves, you actually will reduce some flickering effect because it's nothing to flicker there. And it will have it a little bit smoother. Um, render on the background when you do animations and there's just another ways to do and how to create proper uh, how to create scenery inside the view notice render time was 37 minutes and most of this time it's actually took the clouds upper um, portion of this image and bottom was rendered very fast again because that is alpha plane so already pre-created everything can just render as an image thank you for watching the tutorials please remember visit the web is www.geekitplay.com